In our last video, we shared the unfortunate adventures of Lisa's favorite sweater, which is still to be continued. And we shared with you our love of socks, including self-striping sock yarn from Timber Yarns and a few speckled socks of Lisa's. And we showed you my first finished Uppsala slipper, which is beautiful. And today you're gonna to see what happened with the second Uppsala slipper. Hi, and good afternoon, and welcome to the Codependent Knitters. We're coming to you live from Sarnia, Ontario. Not live. Bye, well, okay, let's start again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not live, okay. Right. Hi, and welcome to the Codependent Knitters, episode 38. We're coming from Sarnia, Ontario. <laughs> We're not stopping restarting. <sighs> okay, Carry Sarnia, on. Ontario. This is my friend Dawn. That's my friend Lisa. And we are the Codependent Knitters. Um, what else? Episode 30. I can't believe that. Episode 38. Okay. Yes. It's been over a month since I know, our last it's been a episode. Long time. We. We planned to get together a few times and then just things came up and we kept bumping it. Like. So what I didn't tell you, two weeks ago, I think uh -oh. you had messaged me and asked what was going on and I said I'd tell you later. Yeah, what was with that? It was two weeks ago and two we were, ago. I was, I came in to just sort of tidy up my desk, right? To get uh -huh. ready for yeah. podcasting and there was stuff all over it and I had a mug of coffee that I just made. Oh, okay. You just made it. Okay. And I put it on top of kind of some stuff. It was tidying up. I knocked it over. Fortunately, I knocked it away from, from computer. my computer. My laptop is sitting right in right front of here. I knocked it the right other direction. Here. So on, you guys can't see, but on this side of me, I have um, under my desk, I have a little stationary it's cabinet. It's like an Ikea. Like a little thing. filing cabinet. Yeah, yeah, it's Ikea one. So the bottom drawer is files and the top drawer is all the stationary drawer. Which one was open? It was open, which was the most fortunate event because... Oh, directly your yard below was it, on there. Directly below it. No! Our prize bucket <laughs> with a shawl kit directly <laughs> under it. And my no. Knitting Wolf Luxury yarn. There was one of each because last time we showed it, right? So I had one of each sitting there. And there was a plastic shopping bag kind of on top of it, mm -hmm. which protected. Like there were a few beads of coffee that got on one of my own skeins that just that is so funny. like they didn't absorb so they just mopped right up yeah but there was coffee you could eat Did your heart you can eat off my floor right right here only Did i was like stop? oh crap i just grabbed i didn't care about the coffee i grabbed like the yarn got that out of the way i had to empty my entire stationary drawer and put it in oh, like wash everything right, it was right. i had my little um i have a little paper clip dispenser it's a clear one. It was half full of coffee. So, oh my gosh. And it was it was my um, Lake Life Studios mug. Oh, yeah, yeah, Which yeah, is okay. a really mm -hmm. solid, heavy mug. However, it's and not It's very flat. large. <laughs> it's not flat-bottomed. It, it, it's it got a narrower base, and it curves. Yeah, it curves out and like it, this. I didn't think it would ever tip because it's so heavy. Mm -hmm. So I have to be very careful. <laughs> but, oh my that my was heart would have stopped. You just such that, a close that second call. where you're like, <clears throat> I know. Such a close call. So then oh. Ryan came home, and all the stationery is in the bathroom on a towel <laughs> dry. He's like, what happened here? <laughs> and they're so calm, right? He's like my He's husband. Like, <laughs> Oh, well, he knows what happened me. here? He knows me. Yeah. So today we have to be very careful because uh, she's borrowing my Remembrances pottery mug. We have our Remembrances pottery mugs with, mm -hmm. can you see it? Yum, yum. Golden turmeric latte milk. Keep that away from the computer. Keep it on the other side. <laughs> We're going to share the recipe. Actually, I can link to the recipe and put it in our notes. Um, if you click the little arrow below the video, uh, it is from, where is my spoon? dot co i think yeah oh, i wrote it down where is my spoon dot co and this is a I recipe looking for your spoon <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of the site so it's called turmeric golden latte i believe and it's very um, good it's very good you make a paste which um is very fast mm -hmm. you need a good amount you need like a half a cup of turmeric though so um the other spices that are in it you need like a tablespoon teaspoon you won't be um, um you know, very anti-inflammatory. Anti no, you make up the paste, and the recipe makes about two cups. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, and then just keep it in a jar in mm -hmm. the fridge. It'll keep for a few weeks, or you could make some to give to a friend. No, I love uh, these. These are really good for the winter. They just they're just they're yummy, warm and, and you cozy. Can, I we used unsweetened almond milk, mm -hmm. so we just added a little bit of honey. So, or you could use sweetened 
Mm -hmm. Well, you can use whatever kind of milk you want. You just warm up right. the milk after and then stir in a spoon of the paste, which has the um, consistency and color of a grand baby poop. <laughs> but it's it's actually really delicious, it of is, course, because it's all just spices. So mm -hmm. it's all, there's a little bit of coconut oil and the rest is just spices. Yes. That's good. Delish. Though. It's yum. It's yes. very yum. So we can't spill these because like no. turmeric will turn everything a lovely shade of yellow mustard that I can't wear. Right? And we don't like and we're sitting here with prizes. Okay, seriously, this was maybe a bad idea. Be careful. Don't bump me. <laughs> I know, right? Don't let me bump me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, so that's, that's yeah. good. It's good for today. It's a nice fall day. So yeah, we're back awesome. finally mm -hmm. in November. So Dawn's first sweater knit along was supposed to wrap up at the end of October. I'm I have to say, okay, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. Okay. Too bad. Um, <laughs> you did a really good job so far. I, did. I love it. I it is it. fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I had it done and I was about to bind off because I was going to take it to Woodstock. We'll talk about Woodstock in a, in a bit. I was going to take it to Woodstock and then um, I double checked the pattern and I had, well, anyways, I went too far. So I have to back up about two and a half inches um, which is fine and then just do the front and back shaping so I was just I had it off the needles to measure the length with it off and the it needles. looks good though yeah so it has been steamed because I was trying it on and you, you can't get the appreciation of the color it looks huge it's it's definitely roomy like I could have made a size smaller Are I think you doing the fold over no nope. oh, no nope. It has, this is, I put the needles in, so I took oh, the needles okay, out okay. to try it on, and then I measured how much I have to go back. Okay. Cause I'm and like, then, what um, the? cause the length was actually just right, mm -hmm. okay. but I have to back up and fix. I didn't do the hem right and I want to do it right. So, um, so then I wove, um, Your needle needles through. through, it's on two, so I could put it on if I wanted, but I'm going to wait and show you guys when it's all it done. Really good. It has like a roll. Here's the cuff. Oh, the light. We have it's a weird color though. It's like a rolled, it's, it, the, it's they're, a gorgeous color. It's a dark, dark navy blue. With black. Blue, blue, black. Blue. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so what I was knitting or what I am knitting is the Woodrow sweater without the color work pattern yeah. by Isabel Kramer. And you're um, doing that as a test knit for size or you did. As yes. A test and I'm like size. way behind. She released, we, we had to have the yoke and a sleeve done by a certain date. And then mm -hmm. she released the pattern right after, but she had the other samples finished so mm -hmm. I haven't been too worried about finishing it because it's already the pattern's already released it was actually an existing pattern that she mm -hmm. added larger sizes to mm -hmm. that's good though yes and so um I'll tell you all about that again because I've mentioned it a few times as it was a work in progress but mm -hmm. I'm gonna have this done by our next podcast because that's all I have to do is like two inches on the bottom chop chop and I've, I have woven in all the ends mm -hmm. and everything's ready to go it's beautiful than that. Oh, beautiful, yeah. I just, beautiful I love it I want to wear it so, so um, that's your sweater. That's my sweater. So I'm delayed and we'll extend the knit along to the end of November. She's not delayed. I got my sweater done. I love it. So this was a test knit as well. It's the Fall Stripes by Laura Reinbach. 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 And I love it. It's beautiful. And you chose it's, to do it in Hudson Bay I chose Hudson's to do it in Hudson Bay colors because she has actually a rainbow through here. Mm -hmm. And this was just what I had. Yeah. Right? It's kind of stash busting. No, I love it. For it's the gray. Totally your style. I had the tons of gray. And I did have to buy these now that I think about it. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, just the, some of the colors. Yeah, just some of the colors. Yeah. So it, it, it looks turned great. out really good. I love the fit. It's really great. We'll have to take love. some pictures of you wearing it so yes. people can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was yeah. top down or bottom, bottom up? up? Bottom up. Bottom up. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so it's still love seamless. It. But yeah, so I got mine done. I was kind of surprised. But yeah. Well, I'm almost there. You're almost there. I'm almost there. Almost there. I haven't started the shawl along. I have to do that. I gotta finish this. Oh, I won't finish it. Almost. We also have the fall shawl make along going on. Mm -hmm. um, that is till the end of November. So any shawl that you've knit or crocheted since um, I think it started September one, okay. you can enter, and you still have a month ish a month -ish. to finish. <laughs> Just start a new one. -ish. And um, if you knit the Gowla shawl, we're featuring the Gowla shawl by Erin Clayton. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm just working on finishing my row, which I won't. But it's a beautiful textured. Oh, look at the texture in it. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot more done than I had last time. That's and nice. I'm probably, I'm making it, I have a lot of yarn. 
so I'm just extending the repeats just for a bit keep more. Going until you yeah, I okay. think I'm probably close to the pattern length. She gives you options for two sizes if you want to make a little bit of a larger one. Mm -hmm. um, it's just fantastic. And she also has since released, um, are they leg warmers and wrist? Yep. Or leg warmer slash wrist? Yep. Yeah, there's another pattern with using the same texture that com uh, goes with it. So, oh, we should mention and just repeat, for this knit along or make along, you can win this Birds of a Feather kit, courtesy of our friends at Leo and Roxy. Leo and Roxy, so it's got Leo and Roxy yarn. Mm -hmm. The color oh. is quirky. There's two skeins of Ugh. the MCS sock and a skein of their mohair silk. Um, the color is also called, in my vocabulary, Woo, that's nice. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's beautiful. Like beautiful gorgeous. Pinks. Yeah. Pinks and greens. Oh, there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So, yeah, Carrie and Jolene donated this kit mm -hmm. for us, and we um, saved it specifically for our fall shawl mm -hmm. along. And, yeah, you can win that. Yay. So, because we, um, for the sweater, it was supposed to oh, yeah. end, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, for the people who busted their needles and got a sweater done, we decided to do... Um, just an extra little draw. Let me check. What are we drawing for? Um, how about a bag? Okay. So it's like a midway. So there's still going to be the draw for the kid at the end. No, oh, that's, that's the, the shawl. shawl. That's the shawl. For the sweater knit along. Oh, for the sweater knit along, um, I'm going to donate a sweater sized project bag as a, as a grand prize at the end. Yay. Um, so we're doing this midway or not midway, but for the first deadline, um, just to reward people that, oh, I think I got coffee on it. Guess that's a keeper, huh? Okay, we won't be donating that. Sorry, you know what we'll do? Um, I've got a needle keeper. Okay, cool. Okay, and we'll we'll donate this skein of ginger snap. How about that? Oh, that's This pretty. is like um, that Sly one. Fox zest fingering. It's fifty grams, which is um, enough for a pair of socks. Shorties, Shorties or if you do, um, especially if you use like coordinating or like heels, heels and toes. toes you could get a pair out of this. Mm -hmm. Or you just integrate it with another, it's another yarn. It's yeah, it's Sly Fox, it's got, um, it's grays with some purples and other colors splashed in there. So we'll donate these. I'm so sorry about that bag. That sucks. I might be able to wash it, but then it won't look quite as nice, right? No. Bummer, I'm glad I noticed that. Okay, so we have to pick a number. Between two, hey sorry. Pick a number between two and twenty. Twenty. A random number between two and twenty is four. 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 One of the early birds. Well, that's kind of nice. It was an early bird. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at this sweater. Wow. Okay. Good job. It's um. What's it? What's her name? Bonnie. Good She's job. in Saskatoon. Yay. Bonnie from Saskatoon. Bon, that is bon, gorgeous. Bon Marie did a Soldatna by Caitlin Hunter. I see it. Look, That's a good yeah. one. That if I good. turn it a bit, you don't get the blowout. It's beautiful. Congratulations, Bonnie. You're still Yay. in the running for the grand prize. We're just doing a little extra prize because, um, you know, I'm slow. So, <laughs> so uh, message me on Instagram or on um, Ravelry, mm -hmm. Bonnie, and I will get your address and we'll get this out in the mail to you. I'm gonna put that up here. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Next. Oh, okay. So we've been talking about a new knit along, make along. You can crochet. So yeah, we yeah, always yeah. say knit along. We mean yeah. knit or crochet. And you suggested hats, hats mitts, and slippers. Yeah, hats, mitts, slippers. Um, and accessories. Now so those are good for Christmas, like Christmas. They're gifts. great for they're Christmas gifts, for, right? Yeah. One skein projects that are easy and quick. Um, and it's weather for hats and mitts. Yes, it is. Tis In my season, house, right? it's the season for slippers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it'll be hats, mitts, slippers, knit or crochet, mm -hmm. um, till the end of no end of December. Yep. Start now. So any new projects you cast on, and then I thought um, if you want to knit of them here oh they're here if you want to also um if anyone wants to knit my agent 99 cowl or my not too fancy hat 
That's our executive producer. Okay. Okay. If you want to knit the not too fancy hat, which is a beanie hat, mm -hmm. not quite picking up here. There, you can see it's just got it's got a really wide one cable there. Here, this is a better color to see it in. Okay. So that's the not too fancy hat or my Agent 99 cowl. This was one of the original ones. It's meant to be a one skein worsted project. Um, depending, I, depending on your gauge, keep an eye on your yarn usage because it does come really close to a full skein. And that's, that's it knit just in a solid speckle. Um, and this is it with the different sections. You can just shorten it by however many rows you need to or cut out the last section and just do four repeats. Um, on the project page, there's the first one I did, which was the striped one, okay. which was a gift for a friend. Okay. And that's the um, Agent 99 cowl. So, and then the blue one up right up at the back there. Oh yeah, yeah. Is, I did one with um, fingering oh, yeah. it, fingering and mohair. That was beautiful, yeah. Yeah, so take those. Okay. So, so, yeah, so that's need... an extra entry. Okay, so that's an extra entry. If you do either of those. Okay. What if you did, like you're gonna do a draw of just yeah. people that, okay. So okay. I will also do a bonus prize drawing from anyone who knits. Those and two. like those either those two patterns so okay, you can do job. more than one as long as it's a, a different project um yeah so lots of opportunities to win there we're going to leave that open till the end of december um but you can start now and if any mm -hmm. of any of those small projects you can put in okay so da -da -da. we mentioned woodstock yeah I, I didn't get to go no my husband was away for work and my son had a fever for a couple of days right before and he was still he still had a fever mm -hmm. the Friday afternoon. Um, he was supposed to go to a neighbor's for lunch on Saturday while I was in Woodstock. No. And I, I couldn't send him you over there not you knowing can't. what was wrong. So. Of course, the fever went away Saturday, but you never know, right? You never know. And it's better safe yeah. than sorry. I know. And it sucked because it was my favorite show. But I also didn't need anything. I just really like Woodstock. It was so kind of funny because I went. went. I went. And I went with my mom and we saw Adrian. Hung out with Adrian. Um, but funny story, um, I kept having these people tell me that Dawn, hey, Dawn says to say hi. <laughs> hey, Dawn says to say hi. And I was kind of like, okay, what is she doing here? <laughs> that was my first thought. And then I realized, because somebody showed me on I Instagram. Put it on Instagram. <laughs> she had put it on Instagram, so it was kind of funny. Um, it was a good show. It was really crowded. They had the animals, and they actually had the big Angora bunny out. So that was pretty cool. Did you get to pet him? I did. I did. Well, they do... They do a demo sometime yeah, during the day where they she, yeah. we harvest his yeah. angora. It's, and it's, you know what? It's not hard. It, <laughs> you, don't pull, you just gently... It just pulls it out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, that was kind of neat. They nice. had the big dogs, the Pyrenees dogs. So, yeah. It was really good to see... Every... I'm just... No, sorry. <laughs> she was trying to look... I have the blinds all the way down. Oh, you can just see her in the camera. She's trying to look out the window. But, whatever. She'll yeah. be okay. So, um... The big Pyrenees dogs. And the big Pyrenees dogs. And they had a lot of, there's a lot of really good vendors there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. it's, it's it's probably my favorite show it is, in yeah. this area. It yeah. is. So um, I hit Gainer. That's the one place I wanted to go was Gainer Homestead. Yeah. So, and they had these waiting for me. I have one skein of that. I think it's the same it's, color. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. What is it? Tell us, tell us about it. It is small flat flock flock flock. Small flock rambouillet, and it's called Cozy Stone, and it's a worsted weight. And you know what? It feels amazing. It's just, it's gray. There's a big surprise for everybody. But, um, that if, ramble, that's why I have the rambouillet. It's so soft. So I ended up buying a sweater quantity. It was kind of funny because there was only five there, and I picked up four and I started calculating. And I calculated, and I looked down, and the other skein was gone. Mm -hmm. And Adrian went like this. <laughs> So yeah, so I got all of them. We'll get more. And it's uh oh, it's just so soft. I could just It is. It's great cuz I don't like the really rustic wools. This yeah. is not. It's really lovely. It's so soft and squishy. So a sweater in this would be yeah. fantastic. So what else? Good did job. I, what else oh, and I saw my needle crafts, Cheryl. Cheryl. And I bought I thought I saw this and I thought it was so cute. It is. Yeah, it's just got cute little cats. So it's you yeah. could fit a sock in there almost. I could, yeah. Could. So, it's a notions then, pouch. Yes, it's more of a notions pouch. And then I was getting kind of lonely because I missed my friend. So, I saw these again at Cheryl's, and I got you those. Oh, <laughs> thank 
you. And this one just says, I love knitting. Aw, it's like us. It's you and me. Right? These two little <laughs> snowmen. Thank you yeah, so much. Oh, yeah, that, I thought nice. that, you know what? It, it kind of reminded me of you when I thought, oh, I miss her. Aww. So yeah, so that's it. Oh, and I bought this that's guy. Sweet. Isn't he cute? Oh, that is. Mm -hmm. Twill and print. Twill yeah. and print enamel pin. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, so that's, uh, that was my... Where do you put your pins? Do you still put them on your, um... I put them on my, um, field bags. Yeah. So, I've noticed a couple of them are missing. They're hanging out with my daughter. Ah. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. So, what else did we do? Did you get anything else at Woodstock? That was it. That was it? That was it. We did look around a lot. Um, it was just, it was so, it was packed this year. I had, um... It's a busy show. What else? We had food, and it was so good. What'd you have? I had, uh, chicken. They had like a, a chicken sandwich, but I didn't want the bread. So I had the chicken, the stuff from the sandwich. It was really good. Oh, well, good. From and outside or from indoors? From indoors. You know how the they have the cafeteria counter? Well, it's a restaurant that comes in. They have really it. good food. Well, it's a restaurant. Yeah. Like a like local they had restaurant. butter chicken one year. Yeah. And this, this fried chicken was a roller. It was fried, a fried chicken sandwich. And I kind of. I was asking what was in it and what it was made out of and this and that. And they said, no, they do it all themselves. They basically bread it themselves. Bread it themselves. They cut it up. And so it was, it was, nice. it was really good. And they make these root vegetable chips. <gasps> yes, I've had those. <laughs> they have those every year. I think yeah. that there would be a riot if they didn't bring them in. <laughs> those are really good. So yeah, so we just sat around and it, oh, and I have to say this, this probably won't make sense to a lot of people, but hi from the kitchen island. Hope you guys are having a great day. So, <laughs> hi. We sat, um, my mom sat down, <coughs> and there was these two um, gentlemen across from her, and she's getting herself organized. So they start moving stuff, and they're, oh, there you go, you got some room to knit. And they started talking and stuff, and uh, I sat down, and he kind of kind of looked at me, and they said something about, oh, you're usually on the kitchen island when I see you. <laughs> so, oh. They I'm watch it. Kitchen Island. Well, I guess they watch it with their wives. So Aww. it's kind of nice. Well, it's yeah. my it's my desk. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, neat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people there. I wish I had gone. So we're not going to Woodstock, but we are going to Woodstock. Yeah. After no, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to oh, Knitting Live New right. York Yay! in January. In January, yeah. Adrian and I are going. Well, we're sharing, we're all going, but Adrian and I are, are sharing a room. Lisa and her mom are going and sharing a room. Yeah. Um, there's uh, some other there's people we know going. Us, yeah. That'll be um, good though. Very excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. I, yeah. They, they opened registration for classes, so I did book a class. I did as well. Yep. And mm -hmm. um, we're there for, we'll have an extra day. You know what, I'm just, some looking I, around. I want to, I'm in New York. I'd like, there's a couple of things I'd like to see because I'm in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatnot. So, yeah. So, we're going to be at Bodini Live, which is really cool. Yay. And we're staying at um, the Marriott, Marriott, where the event is. Yeah. Uh, I also am going to Knit City, Montreal. I That's just confirmed right. that. I, Lisa says she's not going. She may change her mind before then. So, Knit City, Vancouver is now Knit City, Canada, and they're having their first Montreal show at the end of March. That's cool. So, my sister Marianne from Winnipeg That's is... That's exciting. Uh, yep. Yeah, she's coming. Marianne, um, you have to come here first. Ah, uh, no, she's already booked her flight. Aww. She doesn't have time. Okay. Yeah, this trip. So uh, just Montreal, but we're going. Um, we're gonna go Wednesday to and come and yeah. we're both leaving Monday. So okay. we have a few days to hang out and see a bit of Montreal too. Mm -hmm. um, so she's flying. I'm gonna take the train. So that will be super fun. So we're we're booked travel and accommodation I'm for you. That'll yeah. be so good. They haven't. That'll I know so, a few so people that are. A few people that are vending, um, there's a few that I thought might be but mm -hmm. aren't and are waiting to see if they get yeah. in, like on a wait list. Mm -hmm. But they haven't That's announced right. the vendor list yet, so I don't even know. What else. It's going to be neat because it I think they'll be, It's pretty exciting. No, and there'll be some different different mm -hmm. vendors than we usually see in southwestern Ontario. Yes. Yeah. So there'll be a lot of Quebec vendors too. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Canadian dollar, yeah. etc. So it'll be yeah. fun. I'm super excited about that. Um, in a couple of weeks, you and I are going to Little Red Mitten for Arna and Carlos. Yes, um, for the workshop. Yeah, we're doing the stranded knitting. Yeah. So we've got our kids. Good. Have you done your homework yet? No, me neither. It's okay. like a hat band. Like it's yeah. worsted weight. It'll be fast. Yeah. But we're I doing that. I think I'm going to try it and do it Norwegian knitting. You know, the band? Yeah. So you get some practice. Yeah. They, the Little Red Mitten, like last week, 
did post there were there were a few I... tickets opened up for some things from classes and the lecture yes so if you are still interested um and thought you missed out or just heard about it check out little red mittens website or give them mm -hmm. a call and find out um what's available because there were quite a few classes on Friday and Saturday yep. and on Sunday there's just a, a lecture like a talk mm -hmm. um, off-site so not at the yarn store so they have room for quite a few yeah, people, quite a few people so there. we're doing a class and then we're staying overnight and going to the lecture yep. um, I got some news I got some happy mail oh my god it was a um, surprise mm. uh, I think it's a 12 straight it's 12 yeah I think she said 12 stripe. 12 days of Christmas. So I think it's That's a 12 gorgeous. stripe self striping sock mm -hmm. holiday themed one from Timber Yarns. This was the inspiration photo, which was the only clue we got. Beautiful. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then the yarn came. So look, it's you can see in there, there is gray and dark green and medium green and light green and red and white and gold. That's not 12 yet, so there's more. <laughs> That's beautiful. But yeah. Gorgeous, And then she gorgeous. sent two minis. Mm -hmm. So you could do, I might do heels one, toes the other. Or the opposite, like I did with that one And then switch them on the yeah. other sock. Yeah, I did that yep, with the Yep, so there's a dark green Allegria. and a red. Nice. And look at the progress. She always includes a little progress keeper. And look at it. It's a it's a little um, uh, truck car VW bug type. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love that it. That reminds me of the old woodchuck cars. Do you remember them? No. Okay, never mind. What am I, 80? How old are we talking about? What kind of car? Really woodchuck? Old, yeah, like with the wood panels on it. Oh! Right? Yeah. Yeah. Gangster. We used to call them as woodchucks. Woodchucks. Because right? they have wood on it. Yeah. And she included a little treat. And she, she included a couple of, she knows my favorite candies. She included a few bags of candy for me, which are long gone. <laughs> And a really lovely note on the back of the little. <laughs> She's beautiful. I'm, I'm just so happy to get this. I was anxiously awaiting it. That's awesome. So that came in the mail. And I haven't cast them on cool. yet. I wanted to wait and show them. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I already have two of her yarns on needles. So I will yep. cast those on and have Christmas socks. Well, that is beautiful. Happy yeah. mail. Very happy. Um... Mid-October, I entered Brigden Fair. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did post just post after I Not went to the fair and found out if I had won any ribbons, and I did. My knitting won some ribbons this year. So this so this you're cowl, another award-winning knitter. Well, it's it's a local fair, but it's fun. So this is the um, okay. You've seen this before, but I haven't really worn it because I I decided I was going to probably put it in the fair. So I was waiting to because things mm -hmm. are supposed to be new. Um, and so this is the Paris and Berlin cowl, mm -hmm. right? By Hohi Locatelli. There's some, that's nice stitch texture there. This is like, um, a really easy cowl to knit. And if you didn't see it on a previous episode, I did make it in, um, a knitting wolf luxury yarn, mm. the socket to me baby, which is 70, 20, 10 MCN. And this was his Lewis's nobly blues. I was wearing my hat the other Color day. Colorway, yeah. yeah, for Hat Not Hate mm -hmm. um, last year. And oh, I just love it. So, this got a first place in the item made from one ball of yarn category. Um, you saw these before too because they were finished uh, a little while, a while ago, ago, but I haven't been able to wear them. I actually didn't even have the second one blocked until like two days before the. I was like, I gotta block that sock. So, um, these were first place in the adult. Adult pair of socks. So this is Curiosity and Opportunity mm -hmm. by Hohi Locatelli. I'm sensing a bit of a... It's got a lovely cable pattern. Lovely. <laughs> it wasn't all Hohi. <laughs> <laughs> I just had these... No, those are I, I take a look. Like, they get the prize book out a few months before the show. And I usually take a look. And then um, when I register, I'll register for a bunch of categories. And mm -hmm. then it's like... It could be like two days before the show when I mm -hmm. decide what I'm actually putting in. And if I don't put something in in a category, no big deal. But at least I've registered for it. So this was... Oh, these were um, Lichen and Lace pressed flowers. Mm -hmm. They're pretty. Yeah, so that got first place in adult socks. And then speaking of staying up all night the night before. 
that's what I was doing because I hadn't done any crochet dishcloths. Oh, I forgot to look up the patterns. Hang on. I put them on my um, Instagrammy thread. I can find them there really quickly. I literally was up till five in the morning because <laughs> I had, I'm like, I can do a couple dishcloths, right? Oh yeah, I can just throw so them together. I believe them together. this one is called Chickens by Michelle Wilcox. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Little feet. Oh, it's backwards. No, it's not. No. Oh, because the feet just stick out from the bottom. There's little feet. I love these little kind of wings on the side. So this is the mama chicken. And then there's the little chickadee. The pattern for this one is actually mama chickadee by Lion Brand Yarn. So I used, I love this cotton from Hobby yep. Lobby for these. And I think the yellow was called, I think the color is called buttercup. It's just a really soft yellow. It's not the brightest one. No. That's nice. And then, I had done two, so those got a first in two, two, you have to do two crochet dishcloths like together yeah. as an entry. So I usually do two, like I don't do two identical like two usually, themed. like two that go together. Like a theme. Yeah. Yeah. Like instead of just two exactly the same. Like they don't, they have no chicken. guidelines. They just say do, do two. So, okay. um, and then my other, for the knitted ones, I found, uh, this is hard. It did not show up in this yarn. So this is Save the Bees by Knitwits. Knitwits mm. Heaven, and oh, there, maybe you can kind of see. There's a bee with some hearts. So you know the the ones I did last year mm -hmm. with the um, garter stitch design? Yeah. They showed up really well after I blocked, and that was with Knit Picks Dishy. Okay, maybe that um, one just this, this cotton, no, I love this cotton. And I don't know if it was because I had, a just, color? if it was just my gauge, you can kind of see it there. Mm -hmm. um, the color, but it just, you didn't get the same stitch definition. Okay. It kind of, yeah. I like but that one. it's cute though. And then I did a, the honeycomb with a couple beads to go on it. So this is called um, Beehive Knit Dishcloth by Yarn Inspirations Design Studio. That's cute. Yeah. So these two kind of had a little bee theme going on. Right? So. Good job, girlfriend. Yeah. Keep them so coming. So this got first in the two knitted dishcloth category. You like had a sweep. Oh, no, there was, oh, there's, there's, you should see all the categories. There's tons of stuff. But I did, yeah, everything, everything I entered got a ribbon except, um, I just threw a shawl in. But then it was like, I know this won't win because it's just a whatever plain shawl. But who cares, right? I, like that. I hope that people are, are there at the fair and are inspired to either learn to knit or crochet. Or pick or, it up again. Or try something different, right? If they mm -hmm. see, oh, hey, that's really neat, right? There was, there were, there was a Tecumseh sweater mm -hmm. in the adult sweater category. There was another, I can't remember which one it was now. There was another sweater pattern I recognized too. Um, I got, I believe this got a second, my Ghostwood Mittens. So you guys haven't seen these as an FO because in the last episode I had one, one done. So these are Ghostwood by um, Kiyomi Bergen. And the pattern has one of this diamond and then I did actually three on this one. Nice. So I've this is the third time I've knit this pattern and this time I used um mohair. Isn't it beautiful? Oh it's it's fuzzy. They're so soft and fuzzy, just, fuzzy. Oh, lovely. So this this yarn was um the Loving Path Aries mm -hmm. Worsted in the colorway Stargazer. Nice. Like the lily I believe. <laughs> and um that's dyed by Debbie in London. She has beautiful yarn. And then I held it with Leo and Roxy, the mohair silk. Um, mm -hmm. It's undyed. So I don't have a label for it because I just was there one day and I said, hey, have you got any natural? It naked. <laughs> they didn't have any on the shelf, so they just grabbed a skein of undyed for me. Yeah. So yeah, these are just beautiful. And I knit the size small on a 3.25 millimeter needle because I knit loose and I like Very, my yeah. mittens. I don't like sloppy, floppy mittens. I like them to fit. These are not tight on me. I mean, they're, they're washed and, and blocked too. So, but they're just right. And I don't have small hands, but it's just because of my gauge. So it's not that the pattern sizing is off at all. Um, I would not say that. And actually I might've with a worsted and a mohair held double, it's also a larger gauge than yeah, the pattern calls for. So I just, I, I knew that that would be the case. So I did a small, just love them. Oh, Lisa. Love them. So those got second place in um, adult size mittens. 
or just mittens. I might have just been just mittens, knit or crochet. Yay. Sometimes I wish they would separate out the knitting and the crochet. Like for dishcloths, it makes sense because there's so many. Yeah. Um, you know, because they're totally different. They're totally different skills, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of people, oranges. yeah. And it's kind of not really fair to pit things up against each other, but I don't make the rules. Yeah. And then my other ribbon was um, an adult hat. <laughs> this is the Wildflowers Cap by Mary Jane Mucklestone. And I showed this way back, like one of our early, I don't even know what episode, it was way back. Um, I, had me I had messed up on the color work. Oh, and so wow. I had never blocked it. Like I had to go back. Actually, um, I did duplicate stitch, I think, and fixed it. It was way down at the beginning. And initially I thought, I'm going to tear it out and do it over. Um, then my tension wasn't fantastic. But once I, um, so I thought I'm just going to give it a try. So I pulled it out of an old project bag and duplicate stitched the, the mix up. And then I, I washed and blocked it and it must be out very nicely. Yeah. It evened out really nicely. So this is uh, Peyton's Classic Wool, mm -hmm. just in, I don't even know the color, but natural and sort of a medium gray, charcoal. medium to dark gray. And the pom-pom is a faux pom from, I believe this one is from um, Fabric Land. Okay. They have some pom-poms there. And they're they're really pricey, but they often have like 50% off mm -hmm. days. So That's I picked things. up a couple on sale. So it's, got, it's really cute because it's gray and white. It's actually just kind of tied in there because I... Didn't know for sure if I'd leave a pom pom on. Isn't that cute? I don't wear hats, but that's a super cute hat. I like it. Yeah, I love it. This was so this pattern is old. This was in the um the first making magazine, I believe. Okay, they're making on number nine, one. I think, aren't they? <laughs> it was I, it was a couple years ago. Yeah. It was right after we started. Probably the first. I probably was going to do it for Brigden Fair. When I first started two years ago, mm -hmm. and then it just I can't remember because I had just put it away thinking it was going to have to be scrapped. So, it redeemed itself. Yay. That's all the Brigden Fair stuff. That's awesome. You did really well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of beautiful, a lot of beautiful entries. Oh, you know, so we'll move into FOs because kind of related to Brigden Fair. So huh. you guys, I had shown one of my Uppsala slippers, right? Yeah. Um, and I was going to knit the other one for Brigden Fair and put enter them in the slippers category. So here's okay. slipper number one that I showed, I think on the last episode, because okay. I had one done. So I did the second one and, uh, and then I noticed. What? <laughs> Oopsala. Oops. What did you do? I don't know. I, um, did you maybe grab it the did wrong not needles? shrink? Cause I very, I just, I think I grabbed the wrong needles. I, you know what? I'm sorry. You grab, you must. I had to have. see that. My Knit Picks DPNs, which like, is what I used, the 3.5. Okay, but Lisa, that much of a difference. So it in my Knit Picks, that different, much my, of a difference. or I just got, I was holding it really loose for the color work. My Knit Picks DPNs, there are two sizes that are almost the identical shade of green. I don't know why they would put two such close sizes in such close colors, but um, I thought yeah. I had the right ones, but. So what I'm going to do, is the heel that much bigger? Oh, it is. You know what? I don't rip it out. You should no. have enough to do another small one, another big one. The heel, the heels, if you look at the heel. They're even big. But I think what I'll do is go back just to the heel flap, mm -hmm. which is almost the whole thing, um, and just redo it. So I'm just going to redo it. Huh. That's too Because I have enough. a, I could do, I'd probably just do another one. You I've could do another yarn. You have enough. Yeah. But then I'll only have one of these. <laughs> I was when I was going to stocking. <laughs> <You're sorry>. so <laughs> helpful. <laughs> well, look how much cream is left. I was going to do another pair in alternating, so I'll just tear it out and and do it in smaller <laughs> DPNs. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't make it into the show, but I have an FO. If you have really oddly sized feet. Because a lot of us do have feet that are different sizes. Everybody Just not does. two sizes bigger. <laughs> Everybody But it's does. a really super cute pattern. So I like it. Yeah. So this is Uppsala um, Slippers by Ram Wolves Co-op. Mm -hmm. It's on Ravelry. Um, she's making some too. I am. Too bad they weren't the same colors. Because then if yours was bigger, we could just trade. And... 
Oh my Shoot, gosh. Okay? So that's good. Yeah, whatever. You knit. You, they're so fast to knit. It's no big deal backing them up. But mm -mm. I didn't do it because I wanted to show it on the podcast. That's so just I haven't funny. I haven't re-knit it yet. That's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so what else? Oops. 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 -la. Well, I that was that's my only other FO. Okay. So what have you got? Your sweater. My we sweater. Already we already talked about it. I I You have a hoe? I do. You have one. And it is beautiful. It's really awesome. Um, Noelle was doing a test knit and I, got, I contacted the designer. You got on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, when that comes out, let me know. But she said I could test knit. I only had to have one sock done. And this is my sock. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. I'll, you talk about it. Okay. I'll hold it. So it is Tree Farm by Natalie Sheldon. It is on Ravelry now. And it's just, it's made with Leo and Roxy, Roxy McSteamy and uh, some undyed, that all natural. So I love it. Love, love, love it. It's so, the same on. Mm -hmm. Nope. No, it's different. It's not totally, it's, it's yeah, totally you need to look at the whole. Here, take it off. And then, um, oh my gosh. So, and then I actually learned from Noelle how to flip the pattern on Knit Companion. For that other foot so you'll so basically mirror it. this little yeah so because if you look at it it's different right? like there's a whole right so when you flip it this yeah. guy will be yeah. over here yeah so which yeah. is fantastic yeah i so. love it did you go up a little bit in needle size for these oh yeah <laughs> because it's stranded yeah. so it's tighter i did that with the other socks by natalie mm -hmm. that i did so this pattern is out it just came out november 1st yeah it is Ravelry. so gorgeous and some of the colors that um, people are doing are amazing. So mm -hmm. I have to do, I've already been <sighs> nagged to do the second sock because my daughter absolutely I loves these. I can't believe these. you're gonna, I wouldn't give these away. These would be for me. So, yeah. Be but fun. I. Noelle did, did a pair where she held mohair with the yeah. white. Mm -hmm. So Noelle's knit some pieces. So hers um, is fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. It's got some halo. Although it's a little bit of halo too. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So, yeah. I love, love them. It. So I have to, again, I have to do the second one. So you're going to do a second pair. I'm going to do a second, a second sock and then I'll do a second pair in this one. When we were, did we talk about this We didn't yet? talk about it, but we can talk about it now. Okay, so we went. We'll show, show this first and then tell how we got it, how it came to be. It's Leo and Roxy. It's called Spruce? Spruce. Yeah, it's a beautiful green. So I would like to do them in there. Look. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? With natural? So, with natural. So, mm -hmm. so how did you get this yarn, Lisa? How did I get that yarn? Well, <laughs> we all, I say we all, <laughs> um, there was Dawn, uh, the two of us, my mom, Adrian. Noelle came with us? Noelle came with us. And your, well, your daughter. My daughter came and she ditched us. But, um. Oh, and Sandy Harwood came and, and sorry, Sandy, Sandy came Harwood. and met us at the yarn shop. So too. we all decided that we were going to go and, um. Go to Little Red Mitten, hang hang out, see what's new, and uh, knit for a bit. Funny story though, my dad says, "Oh, is this a formal thing?" And I said, "Well, invitations were not set out." But <laughs> no, it's we tend to be very spontaneous. Yeah. Um, we were knitting like that week. It was that um, week. Yeah. One morning we got together to knit, and uh, just as we were getting ready to go home, I like I think I just said, "Hey, you want to go to the mitten on Friday?" Because yeah, right. Because we were talking okay. about how we hadn't been there. So then, so. yeah, and Noelle had been knitting with us and had just left. So we mm -hmm. had to message her and see if she wanted to go. So it was like yeah. three days notice. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it was just so sort of. It was, it, but it was a lot of fun. Always is fun when you get mm. to go there. Um, the staff are amazing. Oh, we had yeah. a really good time. We, we mm -hmm. got there before lunch, so we knit for a bit. Then we went for lunch. Then we, we went, went for to, lunch. Um, Legends, did you have the wings there? Not this time. Oh, they're to die for. I can't remember what I had. Oh, I had a burger. That's, which was amazing. That's what I had last time. <laughs> it's huge. It's like a half pound burger or something. Like I almost had to um, take half home. Get get a wheelbarrow ride home. It was <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a burger. That was a good. That was a good. So we went there afternoon. just to hang out and knit, and we took Leo and Roxy yarn that we already had, and we were knitting with mm -hmm. it, and then um, and then yarn happened. Yeah, yarn always happens there. So you decided, you found that? I found that because I was working on my trees there. And then, and then what was this one? This one, and then. This one is one of a kind. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they had a bin of one of a kinds that were left over from Woodstock. Yeah. They were on, like, clearance because they were just either misdies or You know what? Kinds. I didn't buy any in, 
I stopped by their booth to say hi, but I figure let other people that don't experience get it right that them. don't get yeah. to see them. But yeah. So you got That's this one too. Yeah. These are beautiful. Yeah, so they're pretty. Lovely. Socks, I got socks, I got socks. a skein too, um, but I didn't bring it. It's mm -mm. somewhere else in the house, but I did pick up a one yeah. of a kind. When they brought out the cool. bid and everyone was just so, going to see them. And, yeah. So yeah. And um, then uh, we were sitting, there's a story with this one. We were sitting facing the wall of their sock yarn, right? Mm -hmm. In that room. And um, because that's not a somehow good place someone said, oh, that one. Was it JoLynn that said, oh, that one, that one's kind of nice. It's called Grandma's Cookies. So it's hanging up on the peg and it just looks like, looks like this, like browns, whatever, which aren't normally And mine. it's pretty. But it's they're not pretty. my wheelhouse and I didn't, I'm like, oh yeah, it's nice, whatever. And then she takes, hands you the, the yeah, She brought the, over a sample, like a sock knit out of mm -hmm. it and it it's, looked. It's beautiful. And then, then you notice it's got little speckles in it, right? Mm -hmm. That I didn't really pay too attention much to until you see it knit up in the sock. Yeah. But the skein that was hanging up on the peg just looked very tonal. Mm -hmm. So I still wasn't planning on buying it. Noelle collected a couple. She collected um, some sweater quantity. She had quantity. a couple because, yeah, she had a sweater quantity. quantity. And a pair for socks. Well, then, then um, we didn't know the color name, I think. And then Jolyn said, oh, it's called Grandma's Cookies. Yeah. So then Noelle said, well, then I have to get a pair of socks, right? right? So she grabbed another skein. Mm -hmm. And I bought a skein. Mm -hmm. Who else bought a skein? Not me. There were, there were... Someone there else did. Yeah. Did Sandy buy one? I don't know. I think I think I one or two more got sold. No, in I like... think uh, Adrian did. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Not sure. Anyways, so I might. <laughs> I don't know when yes. I'm going to knit these, but I'm going to do a pattern sock with these, just because it's. It's pretty. Yeah. It's I'm knitting really so pretty. many vanilla um, um, striping. So what else? So I got that. Oh, I bought a bunch of other stuff, which I'm not even going to show right now. I'll show when I get around to knitting it. So I went to. Um, I went to Muskoka. Mm hmm to see friends and I requested a side trip and it was okayed. And then I found, I called, I basically wanted to go to cold water to the purple sock. Mm -hmm. And I called and they hadn't, didn't have the, what I wanted in yet, but my, some communication problems, which happened, we ended up in cold water anyways. So the, when in cold I water. think it's, I think it's Lynn. Is that her name? Lynn? I don't know. I can't remember. Can we look it up? Yep. Lynn. Yeah. So Lynn was there and she was saying how, um, to the one lady that, Oh, I think there's mail. I think a box, is, I think there's a box there. And I actually said to her, I said, I could go get your mail if it's from Timber Yarns. <laughs> <laughs> and she said it, it was actually. So they ended up going, getting the mail for me and I bought one of these and it is the purple sockalicious colorway, which is only done for their It's a custom shop. Custom colorway for the purple sock. Yeah. So Oh my gosh, look at those colors. I know. So I got that and I got a mini in the green apple. There was a choice of minis, right? They had the turquoise. They had a ton of the turquoise, purple. the purple, the black. But I just, I love the way that pops. Yeah. So yeah, so I got that. Beautiful. Yeah, I was pretty cool. I actually bought one for a friend who I know loves purples and blues and yeah. Yeah, so. You asked me if I wanted one. And I had already ordered the Christmas and I had just bought, I got, I, I said no. I have a little bit of remorse. I know. I saw, I have that same remorse when I saw your Christmas one. <laughs> I would get two pair out of those. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a no. beautiful colorway. So yeah. So in exchange, I got this. And it is. So you did a swap. I did a swap because. Yeah. Don't pay me for yarn. Just give me my other yarn. Um, it's the three Irish girls and basically it's like a rainbow mini stripe. Like micro stripe? Yeah. So it's kind of cool. So it's a gray. Yeah. Surprise. Can I un... Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go. Cause then it's easier to see. It's got really pretty rainbow colors. Mm -hmm. So you'll get like once around mm -hmm. a sock and then you'll have a few rows of gray. That's really pretty. Those are really bright. Yeah. It's, it's going to be beautiful. Cool, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well. What else you went up to? While we were at the mitten, I dropped off a few um, tubes. Or a few. Oh, how did it go? I dropped off. I don't have them yet, but they're done. Okay. I dropped off a few skeins. Yeah. Of For yarn. Tubes. To be cranked into sock tubes. Okay. Because I have so much yarn, and there's so much that I, I know I want to knit 
and then there's the stuff that I do want to knit, but I won't get to it first. And of course, new stuff keeps coming in. Right. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to give this a try. So, um, I got in touch with the lady that, um, she doesn't work there, but she's a, a friend of the Little Red Mittens. So I was able to leave the... Actually, yeah. no, she showed up before we left. Yeah. So I gave it to her. But while I was there, um, this tube... So I got this tube. And... So it just has some scrap yarn at the, at the top. This mm -hmm. was a skein of... Um, I got off Adrian's G-Stash. It's String Theory Color Works. The colorway is Thermoluminescence. It's very, it was very Halloween-y, so I thought, I'm going to get this. So look how long this tube is. That's pretty good. Okay. She does, um, this was 60 stitches. So my normal gauge is, I normally do 64 stitches, but this is a looser gauge. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm going to give it a try. Oh, and I've already that. done a sock off of it. So look how okay. much is left. I like, can get two, I could probably almost get, get two pairs. three pair. Because I didn't do this super short. No. Right? Like there's my heel and toe. Okay. Is that good crazy? Job. That's so good. Basically what I did is I took off the waist yarn at one end. Yeah. And I didn't want to have, um, I didn't want to start with the, I think orange was the next color, but I just unraveled the orange mm -hmm. and then put it on my needles and I knit up yeah. the cuff. And I yeah. did, I will look up the name of the video of the no flare bind off. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't blocked, right? But it's pretty good. Um, because I just watched, I found, I watched a couple on YouTube and I tried mm -hmm. this one and I just liked it. So I did the cuff and then I cut the tube. Mm -hmm. Like I took a couple of socks that I already have and just measured mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the heel. Then how far do I go till okay. I do my, like I measured because the row count's going to be off because oh, it's yeah. a different gauge. So I used measurements and then I cut when it was long enough for where I'd normally start my toe. Cause I, oh, I decided where I was gonna put my heel, mm -hmm. but I hadn't done the heel first. I just put a clip there. And then, cause I, I wanted about that much leg. So I decided where I was gonna put my heel, measured, and then cut. Did your toe. And then put, yeah, put on needles, did my toe, and then went back and put the heel in. So super fast, super fast. The, the coordinating toe and heel, mm -hmm is a color it's actually a leo and roxy colorway that i picked up while we were there okay so it's like and it just it's a, it looks identical mm -hmm. and it it blended perfectly and then the toe is these i have these minis in my um stash it's by art fill yarn and it's that really cool. close that's really that's, really close yeah. green um and oh, then look at you good job yeah so can you believe like look how much is left so if I do my next one, one, okay, it's going to end there. Mm -hmm. Like I could easily get yeah. three, or I could do one pair longer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or do minis. I don't know, crazy. So you can get a lot. Well, you can get three off there. That's two pairs out of a tube. I know. You already have one here. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Awesome. And the second pair will be a little bit long. I have enough to make it longer. That's good then. Or I could just use what's left as a bullseye mm -hmm, heel mm -hmm. on something else. You, you could do anything. So I really love this. Good job. Um, and I know like, yeah, then you have to do the heel and toe and cuff. But you know what? Um, those are fast, right? You, mm -hmm. They decrease every row. Like, so you're, you just Sorry. get smaller and smaller. They're super fast to do. I'm too busy looking over here. I love it. <laughs> That's good though. I love it. Or you could just wear it as a scarf. <laughs> you did that so day. yeah and then oh what's funny was the purple color okay where is it right there so we were there on a friday mm -hmm. and then on sunday i think i had gone to um giant tiger and at the checkout there was like a box of thrills gum you know the oh, everyone yeah, says yeah, it yeah, tastes yeah. like soap I have always loved Thrills Gum. So I pick up a pack of Thrills Gum on a whim. So then I get home and I'm like working on this sock because I'd done the cuff first. So I pull out my purple Chewing stain. Chewing on your thr Thrills. Wind it up. It's called Thrills. I know. It's the right color like, too. What are the chances? It is such the right color. Love it. This is in my Ginger Snap um, wireframe bag. It's pretty. Yeah. I like these because they just open up nicely. So I just like nice bright purple and green, right? So yeah. So I had that done. What? <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. And then while we were sitting at the mitten. <coughs> Excuse me. You okay? There's yeah. no soap or anything. Or sock soap. So also while we were sitting knitting at the mitten, Noelle was knitting um, this yarn. This is um, uh, Regia. 
Is that on Arno? Arna and Carlos. Nice, okay. Because Little Red Mitten's having an Arna and Carlos sock knit along mm -hmm. since they're coming at the end of November, which I wasn't going to do. Um, but yeah. Noelle was knitting. So in the skein, like, it just looks like, okay, whatever, right? It does. It does whatever. But she, it's so pretty. I actually have a picture. And the cream part is actually speckled. Even the picture's not really that the good. The picture doesn't match. The colors no. are different. So you kind of, you're not sure, right? Um... And so I actually, they had one left, so I bought it and cast on like right away. Mm -hmm. So I've got one sock done. And they have at Little Red Mitten these <laughs> little, Itty they're little mini regias. Yeah. They only have like 10 ish colors. It's called Baby Smiles, my first regia. It's the exact, like, look, it's this exact color. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you use for. Yeah, heels? she did the same thing. And, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I love this color. Mm -hmm. So I use this for heels and toes. It's beautiful. Um, and this like stuff it. for babies is supposed to be, um, it's a 75, 25. It's not really, really rough, but I think they said that it was, um, skin friendly. Mm -hmm. So whatever's been used to color it, mm -hmm. I think it's, um, like it's oh, been nice. tested. So it's supposed to be tested. There's no harmful substances in here yeah. for babies. These little ones yeah. here are great for color work. Totally. Right? Because sometimes yeah. if it calls it's for... It's 25 grams. Well, sometimes it calls for 10 grams and you have to buy a huge skein, right? Does it say how many grams it is? No. Nope. I didn't see it. Yeah, 25 grams. Yeah, so it's 25 grams, Because normally right? minis are like 20. So it's a quarter skein. Mm -hmm. So actually it's a good price too for a quarter skein. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, I, I finished one already. There you go. Chop, Isn't chop, that crazy? crazy second. I know. I have this in my uh, Delphina... Delphina Creations bag. In your square bag. Yeah, because of all the colors, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of matches. So that, and I did, I actually did these on DPNs because all my sock needles are on socks. So I did these on DPNs, and then of course this was just heels and toes. Yeah, so that's so I did that on DPNs. Very good. Luckily I have a lot of DPNs. What else? That's it. That's all I got. Oh, oh no, I have another cast on since we last met. Not you and I bet. You I guys like, and I what? bet. <laughs> this is in my Hohi, my Hohi bag. Mm -hmm. um, these bags, they're be okay. I love this bag. The, it's gorgeous. It's, be it's absolutely beautiful. But with this metal zipper, you just maybe don't want to do mohair. Like you have to just watch the zipper. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I just was folding mine over so that the yarn didn't mm -hmm. rub on the zipper teeth, okay. or take your yarn out, right? But I had it folded over like a bucket. So I got. My timber yarns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a custom colorway for Little Red Mitten. Mm -hmm. Oh, it came off the label. So it looked like this. I wound it into a gobstopper to knit with, because she always sends them in two, so you can do one at a time or two at a time if you want. So I wound it into a gobstopper. Look at that pretty, like, rosy mauve. Oh, love it. Um, and I cast on the Georgia Socks by Tracy Miller. Okay. Well, that's because I thought yeah. I wanted something. I didn't want to do plain vanilla. Mm -hmm. I want to do a little bit of pattern, but I didn't know if I wanted to go like full pattern. So that's it's just cute. got a feather and a fan pattern. It's pretty. Yeah. It's very pretty. I like the wide stripes. I know. There's like wide and narrow. Mm -hmm. So this is called Knit Night 2019, and it's a custom colorway that Heather dyed for Little Red Mitten, and I just love it. Um. I don't know if I'll get two socks out of one ball, but it'll be close. I sometimes do with her yarn mm -hmm. when I do coordinating heels and toes. So I have two minis to go with it for heels and toes. I don't know which I'm going to do yet. I could do both. But um, I think my heel's going to end up where this stripe is. Mm -hmm. So I might use this rose color. And there's not oh, a lot of the pretty. rose. So that way it'll bring more of the rose into mm -hmm. the sock. But I also have this this plum color that would go also. It's I actually... Like the the pink? The rose quartz, yeah. Is that what it's called? Rose quartz. Yeah. I like so I think one. I'll use that. Um, and I'll definitely be able to make a second pair. Mm -hmm. It might have to be a tiny bit shorter. Because I think I'm if I put the heel right in here, mm -hmm. um, by the end of the purple stripe, it will You're be where I would toe. normally start my toe. I think I measured. This first purple stripe? So just... Uh, no, I think the here. end of the section or close okay. to it. Okay. But I can cut it short. Okay. Depends, or I could move the heel a little bit. I just don't want the heel way up here because that's way too long of a yeah. leg for me. Uh -huh. So it just happens where I've already started that that's where it's gonna fall. All right, love it. It's beautiful. It's very pretty. I love these colors. 
So I have lots of socks on the go. I know, right? Don't we all? I'm doing that on, I always use 2.25. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing that on a 2.25. Chogu red lace. Yep. Yep. Very good. I need to get more of those because I don't, I don't mind GPNs, but I, I uh, or I yeah. just need to not have like four pairs of socks on the go. There's that. At the same time. Um, oh, okay. One more thing. There's a local gal. Where did these come from? I don't know. They're 2.5. Oh, well. There's a local gal. Her name is Jenny. Jenny Jolly. I don't know if she watches us. Um, but she's in Sarnia. And mm -hmm. her and a friend have oh, started yeah, yeah. up um, a knitted knockers campaign, I guess you could call it. So Jenny um, got some donation money from a local business. And I think she's expecting some more donation money. And she's buying yarn because, so Knitted Knockers is an organization mm -hmm. that makes, just with that, Knitted Knockers for women who've had mastectomy. And um, they have a crochet and a knitting pattern. Mm -hmm. And you can create, like make them and send them into the organization and then they will, you know, if they get requests them. for them. So it's, there's one in the US and there's also Canadian um, okay. counterpart, right? So Jenny started this and she's buying all the approved yarns because they do have a list. There's quite a, a lot of yarn. Most of them are cotton, like Pima cotton, mm -hmm. but there are some cotton acrylic blends that they have tested for durability um, and for washing. So they have comfort to stand too, up. Right? Yeah, and comfort. Cause you know, it's a delicate, if you've had surgery there, right? You want something comfortable and soft. So you, if you want to distribute them through that organization, you do have to use their approved yarns. And it's quite a good list and you can usually find some through your local yarn shop. Yep. There are at least two that I found at Michael's. So this is one of them. This is Peyton's Grace. Um, so the Grace, which I will for sure get. Um, I think I signed up for, a, it looks smaller than a D cup, but whatever. They, they, the instructions, it's one pattern and it tells you instructions for all different sizes. Oh. And they, the organization prefers that you use neutral colors. So that's the other thing is finding yarns that are, you know, in appropriate colors. Um, and they do have some, some different colors for different skin colors. Mm -hmm. And then um, they do like sometimes to have some cotton acrylic blends because for people who want to wear them for swimming or whatever. So they, they're a little more durable if you're in the water more often. So Jenny has gotten monetary donations to buy yarn and she will provide approved yarns to anyone who wants to volunteer to knit or crochet these. Okay. She asks, she's making pairs and all of the, the knitted knockers that you do through her are staying local in Sarnia. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Then. So they don't have to get sent out. Mm -hmm. Um, she's already got a contact at the hospital, a woman that works with breast cancer patients and wants them. And she's also talking to, you know, a few other contacts and organizations oh, in the community. Then. So they're all staying local. All you do is knit. This is one that I finished. Okay. So it's, um, they're really easy. So you just knit them up and then Jenny will provide you with a bag to put them in with her address. And she, she just wants to know ahead of time what size you're making because certain sizes are in more demand. So if you're not sure, just ask her what she needs. Mm -hmm. And then they, she has some volunteers and I've offered to help her as well that are stuffing them because there is again, a preferred type of, um, stuffing like polyfill, then, yeah. yeah, fiber fill. And they have to be stuffed. Yeah. The and same. stuff with them. Yeah. You want them. Right. Yeah. And so we'll like, she'll take care of like sewing them up, but you leave a little hole to put the stuffing in. Um, there's an option for, so it starts with a bit of an I cord. So it makes like, um, sort of a nipple, um, or you can make them without, and there's also an option on the knitted pattern for doing them from the bottom up. If you find it too fiddly to start with just okay. a few stitches on DPNs, you do need to use DPNs for this. When you get around to the wide part, you could make use of, um, you could do a magic loop, but it's, if you know how, um, I think the pattern is written for DPNs. I've probably said all I can about that, but that's, so you can, that's good though. you can order the yarn if you're not somewhere where you can have a yarn store. Um, you can go on to the Did and Dockers website. And the Canadian site has a pattern with the Canadian needle sizes. Oh, like nice. The American okay, yeah, site yeah. doesn't. So um, I think it, because it pretty much calls for DK to worsted yarns. 
So, um, so they knit up pretty you're fast. You're looking at too, like then. a 3.5 millimeter. Oh, really fast. Actually, I'm like, I have the second one. I'm already doing the decreases. I don't know why it's not done. I'm going to finish that up and get those to Jenny. And then I also bought, this is Premier Yarns Cotton Fair, which is another approved yarn that is a cotton acrylic blend. Mm -hmm. So um, this one is more like, um, it's almost mercerized feeling. It's more like a Pima cotton. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's one of the yarns. The um, Cascade Pima Cotton. Cascade Pima Cotton is an approved yarn. Nice. Um, yeah. And they do occasionally have women who want, like, some wacky colors just for fun. But they, you know, they generally prefer neutrals, light neutrals, mm -hmm. um, and skin tones. So. Mm -hmm. That's good, It's though. pretty amazing. And good for her for doing all this. Um, and I've helped her with some contacts for, you know, ways that she can... Um, acquire some some of the approved yarns aren't sold in commercial right. stores right they, they yarn shops mm -hmm. and um not everyone carries them and then she's trying to find a way to stretch her her donation dollars as far as she can yeah. to buy yarn for the knitters so i've given her a few contacts as well to help her out good um and it's just lots of fun so she's organized a couple of get-togethers so if you're in sarnia or nearby um I will, whenever I know about them, I'll share them. Mm -hmm. um, there may be evenings, there may be some weekends. I think she's looking like once a month to have an oh, organized cool, yeah, get together. Um, so if the weather's good and you want to, you know, come for a ride, um, yeah, you're, like, you're welcome to join us. And yeah. you can either buy the yarn yourself or like I said, she does have um, some yarn. She's got a stash of yarn, of the approved yarns. So you want to nice. make sure that you check that out. But isn't that awesome? That's really good. I yes, love it. I do too. So thanks so much to Jenny and I forget, I'll let you I forget the name of the other girl. Blank. I think it's Shelly that is that helps her. Oh, good. And her mom. So yeah. So that was that was my other. I have many whips, but those are the ones that I'm really currently really? rotating. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm just and my sweater. So next up, I'm gonna get my sweater finished. Nice. I have to do my dad's sweater out of the. Aaron Moore. I have to do that. Oh, you didn't bring it. No, I didn't bring it. I wrote that down I, as a whip for you. Yeah. But you've got socks. Let's talk I about those. socks. We're not done. I bought this at um Woodstock. I totally forgot I bought okay. it at Woodstock. And it is the Are West... you finishing a row? Yes. Okay. There you we can go. talk about it. Okay, you're done. It's um the West Yorkshire West Yorkshire Spinners. Spinners. And it is the um fairy lights. So it's, it's one Christmas, of their Christmas yeah. colorways. So it's kind of cute with the blues and the purples and the reds. And I like it. It's more of a, a woolier wool, like a Regia. Yeah. Uh, but it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And you know that these wear a little bit better. Just a little bit tougher. Yeah. So there's this there's this colorway, which I think is from last year. Fairy lights. Yeah. But they have two colors from this year. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, what was it? Robins and Holly oh, Berry. I think there's a couple of new ones. Yeah, Holly Berry. Robin. Red Robin. Red, yeah, Red Robin and Holly Berry are the new ones for this year. So, yeah. And are you picking those? Are you getting Holly Berry? Or you I am. This one? Cool. I actually, I ordered it from uh, Crunchy Yarns and Petroleum. Cool. So, Jean ordered Holly Berry. But these I bought on a whim. I've looked at them before and I looked at them last year and I really love the colors. I think you can still get this and, color. Uh, yeah, you can. But I thought, you know what? It was kind of a... Oh, there it is, and I, I bought it. I think most yarn stores carry West Yorkshire spinners. So, I thought there's a good number of them. Yeah. 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 So it should be pretty easy to find, or you can find it online. Easy peasy to find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. But I love it. And it's knits up. Those are really nice. The only thing is, when you're trying to go to bed, they're short rows. So it's like, oh, I'll just do to the next color. I'll just do one. Oh, I'll just do to the next color. <laughs> oh, I'll just like do two to rows. I'll do the next color. Three o'clock in the morning. I gotta go. <laughs> right? Because look at it. I mean, they're just little... They're, I know. They go so fast. Two, three... I think the green is mostly two to three rows, and the other one is like four or five. So, yeah. So, those will be done. Did you have time. other socks on needles? You didn't bring them? No, I just had... Um, Why do I think you had another pair? What were you knitting when we were at the mitten? Don't remember. I don't either now. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> we'll find out next time. Any other? Aren't you? Didn't you start a sweater for you? Another one? No. You're going to? With the um, gainer or something else? I don't know. Because I have a bunch of sweater quantities that are really nice. Yeah. I have. Um, 
Oh, what do I have? I have my um, ginger scent. Yeah. I have that. I have... You still got yarn from Adrian. Mm, I saw Adrian's yarn, yeah. Don't you have gradient speckled yarn from her? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a you have lots of sweater quantities. I know. I, I, I want to finish this sweater because I have to, once I'm done I this sweater, I'm starting another one. I have I don't to. Know which one. I have to. Figure, I know which one I'm gonna do next. Yeah. Yeah. So you know the pattern, but not the yarn. I don't know because there's a couple. Because I'd still like to use the stuff I brought back from Scotland. Oh yeah. So there was a nice one by Isabel Kramer that just came out. Mm -hmm. I think I might do that one in the Scotland yarn. She has so many nice. Mm -hmm. okay. And I also have the Erin Moore in a Erin Moore light. Which is a DK. Nice. I bought that a while ago. So, yeah, I don't know. All right. Uh, are we all done talking knitting? I think we are all done talking knitting. I'm going to talk quickly, a quick shop update. Oh, I yeah. like those ones. Okay. So what are we doing? I'm going to go get the bags. Oh, time out. All right. Okay. Shop update. Um, these are not in my shop yet. Not yet. Um, we're recording this on Monday. It'll probably take me a day or two to get it um, edited and uploaded. Um, so they should be in my shop by Friday or Saturday, which would be November 8th or 9th, right? Sure. So if, if you follow me on Instagram, I will post an update when they're in my Instagram. Um, I'll put it on my and side And if you follow too. me on Etsy, yeah. Um, but that's they'll be coming soon to my Etsy shop. So these are my holiday bags. Isn't they cute? Yay. Little Christmas. Lisa actually, Lisa, Lisa found this fabric. Actually, Adrian and I. And yeah, yeah Lisa and Adriana, Adriana, Adrian, Adrian convinced me to buy it. And Adrian I just found love it. it. So there's the bag. So I'm doing zippers with, um, this is a black denim. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see it there. I like the black because I tend to put it on and the floor have, in the yeah. car. Right? And they have this lining. Hey, did we get the lining? It's just little there? red stars. Yep. Yeah. We found the Very coordinating good. lining. And there are also, I'm doing some, so these are, I'm doing right now all mediums and there will be a few smalls, but I think they'll mostly be all mediums, which is like two skeins, easy. So medium zippered, I'm doing some medium drawstrings. I think if you did smalls, you'd lose a lot of the picture. Yeah, I'm going to do a few though. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I actually, someone wanted a, a small. <laughs> so, and I'm doing some, we'll have this uh, natural canvas bottom. So this is a drawstring with the natural bottom. This always boggles my mind. Sorry, I'm taking this back. Like, look at how nice that looks. That's, yeah, there's a, there's tricks to getting the bottom lined up. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's all lined up, like, just so. Yeah, there's a trick. There's actually a couple ways to do it. I like one way better. Um, and then this is my other winter, not so much just Christmas, but wintery, cup of cocoa. Isn't it cute? All the cocoa mugs. They're nice. I know, and then you know I love this color. Yay. So these I love have, those colors at Christmas, teal and red. Yeah. These have the teal color bottom. Very nice. And just a white on white print. You can kind of see it there. They're just little leaves in the lining. Sweet. And I've got medium zips. I'll be making some medium draws. Right now I have like just medium zips mm -hmm. made. I'll be making some medium drawstrings and probably a few smalls out of those too. Yep. And, you know, I'll have a few pieces for needle keepers. I did buy a bit more of each of these fabrics than I normally buy. Yep. I might run out of this lining though. We might have to go back and get more. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's getting close. Um, yeah, so those will be in my shop. Um, Funny story about those, that. I, what? I was actually in that store yesterday. I know. And I was going to call you. And I, I was thought, gonna, nah, we'll come over if she needs it. I, I know, I thought about saying, hey, see if they have this fabric. I can always order it online if they mm -hmm. don't have any yeah. in stock. And I don't know yet if I'll need, if I'll run out of this lining fabric. But it's just funny that I thought to call you. Well, and I'll, I'll often, if I run out, I'll sub. But uh -huh. right now, this is, Those are right I don't have you. anything in my stash that would be perfect for this. So that's, it's just a great. No, yeah, no, perfect. Yeah. So isn't it cute? Yay, it's adorable. All the trucks and campers and bicycles and Christmas trees. So yes, so those will be my shop. Yay. I think that's the only That's it. Shop update really. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I've been working on. Awesome, getting awesome. some of those ready. And that's it. Alright. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Yeah, join our knit alongs. All the yes. things. All the Make things. Make alongs. Must knit all the things. Must knit faster. Must knit faster. Yes. Alright. Thanks for coming out. 
<laughs> Take care. See you soon. Make time to make something.